so this is an attempt to try to give you a sense of what it's like to have an online meeting. I'm going to quickly do um, a young student and then I'll do an adult. With the young students, we like to review the exercise for the week. The exercise is sent out Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, previous uh, to the week that we will meet with the student. So they have plenty of time to view the 12 to 15 minute demonstration and then do their work. Sometimes uh, the email announcement also includes a photo or two, like in this situation where we were discussing uh, light and shadow, what we call direct light. First slide is basically the artwork that the student sent to me. Her exercise is on the left. Her little creative project is on the right. And I have imported a value scale uh, to be used uh, for my discussion. Uh, next slide, I looks like I'm using the value scale to talk about light and shadow and that it is uh, two value families and we think of them as the light family and the shadow family and it looks like I was outlining some of the shadows. Uh, this all happens in, you know, live real time. We're having a discussion. I can't see the student while I'm doing this, but I do uh, visit with the student visually at the beginning and then sometimes in the middle and then always at the end. Uh, a little more uh, discussion on um, the exercise with some arrows to clarify things. We can really uh, modify, uh, well, I shouldn't say modify, we, we can really kind of adjust the uh, exercise to the level of the student a little bit. In this case, I was really just trying to emphasize that uh, everything is either in light or in shadow when you have this direct light situation. Um, not sure what I've added at this point. Maybe that's, oh, we're starting now to work on the uh, the creative work. She did a line drawing, and so we started to discuss how we might shade that in using the shading technique from the previous week, which is called 2D shading. And you can see I've put a, a, a tone over the drawing because uh, most of the drawing is going to be a middle value. And then the student's kind of guiding me, and, and uh, I'm doing the work, and we're talking about what things she wants to look light. Then we're talking about what things she wants to look dark. That leaves everything else somewhere in the middle. Once we got that completed, I can start to model those shapes. You can see I'm modifying those a little bit. This is all happening digitally, but we can simulate shading with charcoal or even simulate uh, painting with oil. So we try to touch base with the student on their uh, their little academic learning exercise each week and then see if we can help them with their creative work. And I'm not sure where this strange little character is from. Maybe, maybe it's from uh, Maya's imagination. Uh, but uh, we talked about how to create the illusion of form. And I think in the last one, oh no, now I moved into the uh, adult. Okay, so then this is an adult. Um, Whoa, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, this is an adult exercise. A uh, lady is working, a lady named Simi is working on a painting of a dog, doing a very nice job. She was struggling with some, a little bit of drawing issues. We, uh, we had used a grid originally to uh, scale things out. So we were, we were just talking about, you know, what we thought might be, uh, need to be adjusted. We were looking at the uh, triangle created by the eyes and nose. Uh, the eyes felt a little bit wide to me, but I don't, I don't have that good of a measuring eye that I can tell when it's off a small amount. The jaw also felt a little bit wide to me, or the angle of the jaw felt a little bit off. Um, and so I'm actually showing you photos from a live discussion I'm having with this person 
And to communicate my ideas, I'm drawing on uh, these transparent layers over top of photos of the painting and the, uh, the photo. Students uh, send those to me prior to our meeting. We actually have a very nice uh, service set up through Google where they just upload to a Google Slides file. So at this point, I, I made a little tracing of a few edges uh, over the photo and then slid that over onto the painting uh, to give uh, my student a better idea of where she could make some drawing corrections. And then eventually we took um, some uh, more drawing from the overall figure of the dog and you can see where, you know, things with oil paint, sometimes things, not sometimes, all the time, things slip and move around and you have to regroup with your drawing. So that, I think, concludes um, uh, my discussion here on uh, roughly what it's like to have a online class. Uh, usually with the younger students, it's 15 to 20 minutes. With adults, it's 20 to 30 minutes. It varies a little bit depending on how much help they need and you know how much time is available. We really like to meet with our online students uh, during actual class time. Pr uh, actually prefer if we can meet with them during the class that they par had participated in in the past. Uh, so that does end my talk.